I think words have uh, a lot of power. I think there's um, uh, the campaign we did for IKEA when they were kind of fighting the forces of traditional British furniture, when their furniture didn't seem to be loved by the British public enough and their sales weren't doing very well, we created a campaign around chuck out your chintz and created this idea that chintz is an old fashioned idea that's holding the women of the country back. And with that sort of simple statement, the piece of sort of propaganda, it's almost like a propaganda poster from a world, like a World War II poster. I think that helped really uh, gave a sharp edge to this campaign and really helped its success. So that's one example. I mean, one of the very first campaigns I did for Maxell cassettes all about their sound quality was listen to tracks and then listen to tracks that were a little bit hard to hear uh, with bad sound, bad sound quality and then wrote down the wrong words and presented the wrong words uh, in commercials and then said you need, um, uh, which are very funny, to so tracks like Me, uh, the Israelites, we said me is a light and things like that and made that a campaign for better sound quality through Maxell cassettes. So yeah, we're always using words in a hopefully a powerful way. I do have an approach to what I do. I always start from the assumption that no one's interested. So first you've actually got to make uh, it interesting by putting something genuinely new in their lives. And then um, I think it's got to be something that actually is really well resolved. It's actually got something that they will find attractive or entertaining. So I think it's got to have some purpose and I think it's got to have some sort of grace to it. And that's what we always try and do with our work. Yeah, I think it's, it's visuals and words together. Uh, it's a bit like design and language together. I think it's about just knowing uh, what type of task is done by what, what which, which one leads in which type of task. So if, if it's something that needs to be much more articulated, so it's you know, more propaganda based or much more message based, you lead with the words. If it's more sort of desirability and seductive based, maybe you lead, you lead with the pictures. So I think it's, um, you know, that's one very simple axis, but I think, uh, I think once you've worked in this world for some time, I think you, you develop some instincts for how to balance those two items depending on what kind of job. Yeah, the mantra that underscores all the work that uh, I do and I do with the team, it's always about having something disruptive about the work and having something attractive about the work. So disruptive because basically you've got to make people care because people, people probably don't care. So you've actually got to put some jump or some dislocation element into the work that makes them pay attention. And then I think being attractive is once they pay attention, they actually go with you and they like it and they find it a little bit seductive or pleasing. And so I think it's both those things that makes a great piece of communication, whether, uh, you know, moving communication or print or digital. I think it needs a combination of those two things to make it, uh, um, you know, give it a little bit of anarchy and then give it, give it some dignity as well.